so um, i will i will do today the last day for this all components form components and uh, in the next week i'll take few more components which are not related to form but which are related to help us in our project so the form part will be done today whatever we can do and uh, there are few more components which are very useful which we will do in few days coming days so let's now complete this uh, uh, select and other things also and, uh, we have seen yesterday there is a select box and the select box we used whatever the bootstrap was giving but but this select box is has very limited capability so we, i will install one third party i will install one third party select uh, box and that way we can i can use it in more uh, you know more con configurable way and I can use it uh, very nicely. So let me install that one. That is called So I will say npm install react select. So that is called the react select what? It has more power and we can use it uh, in more configurable way. So I'm installing this application. Let it install. So here I will create few folders. Okay, so you can go to the, uh, you can go to the documentation of React select to see how it works. So let's say day six. So I did npm install react select. So this is the first thing which we are doing. Okay. So I will in the widgets, maybe I'll create two, three uh, different uh, components for this React Select. So let's create one, first one. I will name it as, okay, let's create a folder. And I will name it as React Select because I will be putting all React Select material inside React Select. And I'll create a new file. Inside new file, I will say, let's say, component 01. So, I will create one component. So I created this component one and I will be putting something here for the react select one. So let's let's copy this and create another one. Zero two dot JSX and let's create third one. Let's create three examples for react select. Okay, so we got three examples. Now, I'll rename this to three, and rename this to three, and this is, I'll rename this to two, and rename this to two. Okay, so let's call all this in my app.js. Import CMP01 
from widgets react select and cmp01 and i'll call all the three two and three so i call all the three here now let's put it inside here all three or let's call here so i'll start with i'll start with the cmp1 i have to still write the code for cmp1 i'm just uh, putting the structure here cmp01 handle change is equal to right now i'll just pass one simple function and then i'll write exact code in some time title equal to simple one and name equal to cmp01 okay so i have written the first component i'll write only call only first component not more now and then uh, once i'm done with the first one i will call other two also okay so i call the first one okay let's see now it looks So CMP1 is called. Now let's put the React select inside the CMP1. So to import the React select, first we import the React select. So I'll call the select from the React select, and then. I, I I need options because you know whatever we have to show I need to create the options one thing is that I will pass option from the app.js but right now I'm hard coded options here to show you the demo so for example I'll create options it should be array and options should have for example value of chocolate One second, okay. Okay, so value of chocolate. Let me open this. And there should be one label and label of chocolate. So value is something which we will take in the memory. and uh, label is something which we display to the user second one i'll take value of strawberry and label will be straw and third option i'll put value of vanilla and label of vanilla now i'll take use of this option to display the select box we are using this component called as react select so let's start with the div and inside div inside div i'll start with the label and label i'll say props dot title whatever is coming from the previous page and then i'll use this select but select uh, component here 
and I'll pass the options. So options will be the options which I have created above. That is this one. And name will be props.name which is coming from previous page, previous component. On change will be props.handle change. Okay, so I created this link box. Let's see how it looks. So we got the sample one and the select box and I can choose I can choose okay I'm getting some error okay so I'm getting this uh, you know this chocolate strawberry vanilla whatever I can choose but when I select it, nothing happens because we have not called any function to do the uh, do the take the changes. Because right now, if you see the code uh, in the app.js, I have only this empty function. I have not called this handle change. Be this handle change can only be called when we have normal input because we get e dot target not name or e dot target dot value but but with this uh, this component we don't get uh, the proper e dot target dot name and value so I will create new function called as handle select and I will see what is coming inside the e So let me see what is coming inside the E. So now if I refresh. Now now we are getting some warning. This uh, yeah, this error we are getting. Uh, this I told you last time that uh, will uh, we need to uh, I am using the component that has to be you know, I have to run something like, I have to run some code to fix this one. And, uh, you know, we will do that later. So right now, if I select something, for example, chocolate, and this is also the error, this find DOM node. Because of the React update the, from the React uh, previous version, the new version is giving this one. This one was working fine in the previous version. So we will fix this also in some time. So let's see what is coming in the E. In the E, we are not getting E dot target dot name or E dot target dot uh, value. We are getting simply an object like this. So I will save this object in my form values. Now, if I if I open this, I am passing the name also as CMP01. Let's say if I have one more, if I have one more uh, select button, and here I'm passing select CMP04, and I'm calling this same component CMP01. Now if I open this React, we're getting two, but when I change it, and I will change this to this, the both are different, but I'm not getting any reference that which one got updated. So I won't be able to save in the form values. So we have to take care of that also. But let's say, and somehow I got the name value, name of this is CMP01 and this is CMP04. I will save it in the form values. So for example, right now I will right now I will set the form like this right now I'll hard code the value of CMP01 to be the E whatever E is coming 
now let's check it again okay I, I'm not liking this error coming again and again let me fix it temporary right now so because the react changes to the strict mode and because of that it is causing this error so I'll remove this strict mode which was not there previously in react app now in the strict op app it's giving me that error so let me refresh it again okay this warning we will remove so, so if I say chocolate you will see CMP0 when is updated with the chocolate so I'm hardcodedly putting CMP01 and putting the value which is coming inside it now if I want to do it for this as strawberry it's re re replacing the CMP0 when the strawberry so it's not taking CMP04 so we will fix that in in couple of minutes so but at least we got whenever I'm changing this sample I am able to get the value here and I am saving it in the object so let's now let's now go and try to fix that one so here I am passing CMP01 here I am passing CMP01 04 let's say somehow I get the name here which field I am updating then I can use this name here and I will update the value of E with that name so I can somehow I will figure out how I can pass the name in handle select and then I can update that name with the value which is coming and name I will pass differently in the first case I will pass name as CMP01 and in the second case I will pass CMP04 so to pass forcefully some name which I want I will use I will use one utility of the function that is called bind in the bind first parameter I will always pass as a this because we don't want any third person object to go inside I will pass this and second part second parameter I will pass as CMP01 we will study bind in detail in few days but right now think that whatever I am forcing first part is always this second part whatever I am pass forcing this CMP01 that will always go as the first parameter here as name so in the second one I will say dot bind this and I'll say CMP 04 so here what I'm doing I'm forcing I'm forcing this CMP 04 to go as a first parameter here in the handle submit and the select so first parameter will go as a CMP 01 in the first case and it will go CMP 04 in the second case and E will come from the component which we have written like this E, e will come from the this component 01 which was initially so E was already coming we saw that E is coming from the component 01 but for different name I want different value to be saved so I'm passing it as a bind here and I'm passing first parameter as hard coded D whatever I want so in the first case I am passing CMP01 and second case I am passing CMP04 so the first parameter in this function will go as a name and E will come as it was coming usually so we can have two values now showing here so let me refresh so if I save this strawberry so it is going as CMP01 with strawberry and second one I am passing vanilla so here I am getting CMP04 and it is coming as vanilla so I can use same component with different name generally in all other components we are passing the name because uh, react bootstrap takes the name and uh, it returns e.target.name and e.target.value but here in this case we don't get e.target.name so we have to 
change our function to uh, give us this pattern. So this is the one we are using it. So this is uh, one var variation we saw for the so React select. Let's have one more which is very, you know, uh, which I will not make it dynamic now, but I will show you from their website. Uh, I will hard code it whatever they have given and then we will uh, make dynamic later a few days, after a few days when we really work on it. Select, let's go React select. So, uh, so this is the example you can play with. This is the code they have given. You can use their code also. So this is a multiple which I want to show you. So you can choose multiple options like this. If you want to see this practically in a website, I used it in one of my website. So I'll show you that. So this is something I will log in, Google login. So I will show you where I have used this React select. Let me create a list name, test1. I will go and add categories. Uh, for example, sad, uh, comedy. Okay, so I created the categories. Let me add videos. So, in the videos, I can select sad, I can select copy. So something I copied, the same thing with here. So similar to this, we will be using this one. So now, uh, to, do, to use this one, I have to create this option, which already I have. Okay. But I have to, let's say I'm using color options. So let's create the color options in our code. And then we will use the same thing like this and make it uh, multi one. Way to pass it is multi. So I'm copying this select one and I'll paste it. So let's go into component two. And here, I'll copy it. So default value of these two is multi colors, color options. I'll create the color options now in a minute. Class name and class name prefix. Let's create the color options now. So I have already got the code from them, color options. I will put that color options here. So in real world, we will pass this from the app.js but right now to show you, I'm just using color options directly here. And let's take this one. Okay, we have to call in app.js also. I will not use this one. And it's change right now. So let's use the comp two. Let's remove COM3 for now. So select is not defined, it will define the select as we have done in COM1. So you can use this one and you can choose green, choose select. So 
it's uh, you know very nice experience which we can use in our application we can use the multi category uh, in the react select box using the react select box so this is all about the form one we we can work more on it but i i feel the waste of time to build this too much because we have a lot of components already built we will be using this and as as we go along in the project when we come to the point where i have to build something like this right now i build this something more configurable i will take this component and make it more configurable so this is what i'm thinking i, I will not put more time on building more components here uh, but when when we go with the project we will add more one so this one was the one thing which we had to do uh, now five minutes i will i will do something different regarding the javascript so uh, let me open this and open the developer tool so you got the react select right you can use the react select also you can try react select and use it in your application and so we we are done with the form element now we will do something different in react from tomorrow uh, but today we will do 5 minutes some quick review thing on one thing it is called destructuring destructuring it is called destructuring now how the destructuring works let's say i have variable a and b and rest i create three variables a b and rest now i will do first array destructuring and then i'll do object destructuring now if i if i want to ask, if i have array already of 10 and 20 and i want to assign the 10 to a and 20 to b in olden days how you i used to do i will say let's say i can create var array equal to 10 20 i can create an array like this then i can say a equal to array of 0 and b equal to array of 1 so this is how we used to do in the es5 but with the destructuring we can do directly like this a comma b so i will create an array with a and b and i will destructure it to let's say 3 and 5 so when i do this destructuring means when i create this array with value this and this and i'll do this array with a and b so this 3 will be assigned to a and 5 will be assigned to b this is called destructuring that means we are taking the array and we are copying to the variable names using this syntax so when i do enter when i say now a it is 3 when i say b it is 5 so rather than writing this lines of the code we can directly do in one line by doing the array destructuring okay so this is the one thing we did in destructuring let's do little more so i can do a comma b and i will do three dot and rest now how the rest will work like this and i will create some array with element 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 so now how it will work a will be assigned to the 1 b will be assigned to the 2 and rest all from 3 to 8 will be assigned to the rest variable so this is how this structuring work so if i say a it is 1 b it is 2 and i say rest it is 3 to 8 so rest all the elements will be assigned to this rest part so this is how array destructuring works let's take one more example so if i have constant x equal to 1 2 3 4 5 and now i will create another constant y and z and i will assign to x 
Now what happened? X is an array from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I create another constant Y and Z which will be equal to X. X means this whole part. So 1 will be assigned to Y and 2 will be assigned to Z and rest will be go wasted. We are not using all these three. So if I enter it, Y will be 1, Z will be 2 and rest is rest goes unassigned. We are not assigning to any variable. Now one of the problem we, we get in interview, we have to swap the numbers. We have to swap the numbers without using any third variable. Generally in olden days, that means in ES5, how we swap the numbers without we generally use the third variable. So for example, we have var variable 1 equal to let's say 1 var. I am showing you older old ways how we used to do previously equal to 2. Now if I do var 1 it is coming 1, var 2 it is coming 2. So now I have to swap the number. Swap the numbers means var 2 should get 1 number and var 1 should get the two numbers. So how you, we used to solve the number, we create the third variable called as temp which is equal to I'll say var1 and then so if I see what is temp, temp is 1. Now I will do var1 equal to var2 var, I'm taking var1 equal to var2 and var2 will be equal to temp. So this is we used to do that initially I assign variable 1 to third party that is temporary variable and then I take the variable 1 and I give the whatever value of var2 is to var1. So now var1 will become var2 but var2 should refer to again to temp and then var2 will get the value of 1. So this is how we used to switch the hand. So if I see now both are var1 is 2 now and var2 is 1. So this is how we do. Okay, this is how we do previously when we were using ES5. But now with ESX destructuring, if we have uh, two variables, var1, var2 and we have to swap it, we will, we can do like this. For example, I'm saying let k equal to 1, let m equal to 2 and now I'll say k m is equal to m k. So now k become 2 and k became 2 and m become 1. So this is how we do the swapping of the numbers without using the third variable like we do in the previous ES5. So, so this is something we saw the destructing of the array and we saw how to swap the variables, swap the numbers, uh, swap the numbers and uh, uh, we we swap the number without the third variable. So now uh, let's do the let's do in one minute uh, the object destructuring. So for example, if I have object of a equal to one, b equal to b of two. So I have an object, and now I want to destructure this object. I will do constant for example uh, since already I have taken A and B so I will just do A since it is an object I have to start with the curly bracket and I will say A comma B is equal to object. Okay, so something is not good here. Okay, let's create uh, another one here. I, I have used already AB, so it may be messing up the things. 
so I will create a new object. Let me see which object I can create. Okay, yeah, this one is a let's let's create the object user because uh, I already use those variables that may be causing the issue. I will say ID equal to 42 and I will create is verified equal to true. So I created this user object. Now I will create ID and is verified equal to user. So, so what I did, ID is taken from the user and assigned to this ID variable and is verified is taken from the user and it will be assigned to is verified. So now if I type ID, it is 42 and if I say is verified, it is true. So uh, this is about the object destructuring and the swapping the numbers. One problem which we saw, swap the numbers without any third variable, we can do with this variable. So that's all about uh, destructuring. Uh, there is some more in destructuring which I will share tomorrow. So this is the first basic part of destructuring and we have to go a little advanced in destructuring and we will do that tomorrow. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, just let me know.